Hi there. This video is about the older Sin Man, the wired Sin Man, what Laird all refers to as retired Sin Man. We'll just call him the old wired guy. So, the old wired guy does not have an air compressor. So when we go to turn him on, we have to supply him air. So, we start here at the wall. The air is coming from a compressor in the basement and through this tube. So this pipe has a valve. When the valve is sticking out, that means the valve is off. It's blocking the air. So we have to slowly turn it so that the valve is in line with the pipe, which is now allowing the air to flow over to the other side of the ward, where our mannequin is lying. So now that we've allowed the air to come to this side of the ward, we have to supply it to the mannequin. Over here, we have a regulator unit. The air is coming in, and it, we want it to go through this tube to the mannequin. So here's another valve. As you see here, it's closed. It's vertical, and it is blocking what's trying to get through here. So we turn it to open. And now the air is going through this tube, over to Simman, into here, into the mannequin itself. The other connection at the mannequin we see here is the data cable. It's not wireless like the 3G, so it receives its information and its control capabilities through this data cable. Now where does that come from? Back here, we have the link box. The link box translates all the commands from the control laptop to the sim man. So we have to turn the link box on. There's a switch back here. Flip it. And we will see a flashing red light on the link box. What that means is the link box is on, it has power, but it is not receiving any information from the laptop as of yet. So that brings us to the laptop. Normally this laptop is in the control room. It's at the bedside for convenience for this demonstration. So we've turned it on. What we want to start up is this Laredal Sim Man program. There are other options here, including Sim Baby, but we're going with Sim Man. So we double click, and it starts. It'll take a few seconds to boot the program, load the program. It'll ask us to log in. So its default right now is on Algonquin, so just keep it on Algonquin. The password is Algonquin as well. Click OK. It'll ask you about default settings, and that's fine. Click Finish. And then another window will come up asking you if you want to start video recording, and click No. Now, as soon as this starts up, we can hear and see that Sinman is breathing. Watch his chest goes. So, another way, if you're in the control room, not at bedside, down in the left-hand corner, there's a little human-shaped icon, person-shaped icon. It's green. Green means it's good, it's connected. If there was a connection issue, it would be gray. Connection issues are likely due to this cable, data cable at the side of the laptop not being plugged in. Uh, the same data cable on the back of the link box not being connected. The cable has, uh, it says PC on the back. Or it might not be connected here at the mannequin itself. Now, we have it up and running. Uh, you can see that the patient monitor also automatically started. Um, the monitor was off, it would have to be turned on. This monitor is all a touch screen, so to start it up, we touch the different uh, sensors, and we can turn the audio off that way, go back to main screen, and that's how that one runs. Um, then when we do want to shut it down, this one we would go to File, Exit. It asks if we are sure that we want to end the program and abort the simulation. We say yes. And 
it's out, we can shut down our laptop, turn off the link box, and close the air valves just like we opened them. And that's how you turn on and then turn off retired, wired, old SIM net.